So today I'm going to show you how to set up your gas flow for TIG welding aluminum. So I'm running the HTP Invertig 221 in this and I've been messing around with some other settings. So I've got the independent amplitude adjustment and I've got it set at 75. Uh, my frequency right now is 125 and my balance is 70. Since I'm running lower on the um, electrode positive side, I turn down my balance a little bit and that helps balance it out. But it seems like when I'm running a lower uh, electrode positive, I have to turn up my gas flow. So I figured this would be a perfect time to make a video about finding that setting you like. So every gas flow meter is going to read out a little different. They make flow meters you can put on the end of your cup and bump the pedal and then it'll show you what it's actually getting at the end of the torch. But this one that I have here is what it shows it as way higher than what it really is. So I'm usually running around 15 to 20 at work on really any of the machines. But this one it seems like I'm 25 to 30 CFH. All right, so right here is my first one where I only had 10 CFH, and you can see it's just a bunch of crud in that puddle. Um, second one, I could actually see definition, but it was just welding real scummy. You can see the cleaning action is actually inside of the puddle, and that's just adding in all those oxides from the layer on top. And then this one was pretty close, but as I was welding, I could still see it burning in there, especially when I added the filler. Uh, this one was good enough, but I still didn't really like it because on the top side, I could see the cleaning action wasn't really working, uh, especially as the part heats up. It seems like when you're less on the pedal because it's hotter, it seems like it just... Um, the cleaning action doesn't work as well and it'll just start sucking those in. The last one where I bumped it up to what mine reads out as 30 CFH, it was nice and clean. But I like to use the lowest gas flow setting that I can that'll give me a clean weld. And sometimes it's not really just your gas flow. It's a mixture between gas flow and AC balance. So I like to set my AC balance somewhere around 70 to 75 and I know that's a good setting on my machines. And then I'll adjust the gas flow after that. If any of you guys have another way that you like to figure out your gas settings for what you're welding, just put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a good one.